Here's a level four type question. Plot triangle A prime, B prime, C prime if K is three quarters. Take my ruler and I'm gonna rotate it through a point. Okay, let's say, I, I usually pick the point that's furthest away. That gives me four point, now it's less than 4.1. It looks like not quite halfway, so 4.04. .04. But if you're not sure, and you wanna be sure, you can click on the magnifying glass and then click on your point and it will zoom to that point, right? So you have to keep clicking to go zoom in further and further and further. 4.0, this is 4.05, that's 4.1. This is 4.04. .04. I'm gonna rotate this right up to to the angle, uh, to the point, so 4.04, 4 .04, right there. Let's zoom out, double click on the magnifying glass. So the ratio of similarity is new over old. This three quarters is O to C prime over the old, which we can see right here, O to C. We've measured O to C as being 4.04. .04. I'm gonna cross multiply the three times 4.04, .04, then divide by four, and that will give us 3.03. We're gonna plot the O to C, prime at 3.03. 4.04 times 3 quarters, so times 3 divided by 4 is equal to 3.03. My new point is going to be at 3.03. Click on my dilatation button. I'm going to drag that towards 3.03. This is 3.1, so 3.05 is here, so 3.03 somewhere around here. You can also use your arrow keys to get you pretty close. If you're not sure about how accurate you are, you can zoom right in and be totally accurate. And 3.03 right there. You could also use your arrow keys, zoom out, hit enter. Yay! That's all there is to it. For this one, your K factor is 13 fifths. I'm going to measure from zero to C. That gives me 4.61, let's say. The ratio of similarity is new over old, and the K is 13 over five. We've measured O to C, so we're looking at O to C prime is our new, and O to C is our old, and O to C, we measured it as being 4.61. Across multiply the 4.61 times the 13, and divide by five, or I can think of it as multiplying the 4.61 times 13 fifths. That will give us our OC, 4.6 and a little bit times 13 fifths, so 13 divided by 5, is 11.986. 11.986. Let's move this whole thing over. Clicking on the triangle, drag the triangle and the ruler along. I'm going to click on my dilatation tool, click on the triangle to copy it, and drag that up to 11.9, something like that. It's very, very close to 12. And then hit enter. The dilatation button, what it allows you to do is you click on a shape, drag it away, it gets bigger, drag it towards the origin, the point of similarity gets smaller. Okay, so that's what the point of similarity is, it's the point where everything is, is getting bigger from or getting smaller towards. Notice these green lines pass through the point of similarity and through our A, B, and C. The B prime is on the same line as the B, and C prime is on the same line as the C, and the A prime is on the same line as the A. On this level, you can actually see what a, what a similarity is. Notice they are the same triangles, just bigger. And this is the same triangle, just smaller. This is the same triangle. Let's solve this question. I'm gonna pick the B point because it's furthest away from the origin. And so I'm gonna rotate the Ruler, so it goes from my B, looks like 3 point, this is 3.1, so this would be about 3.05. The ratio of similarity K is new over old, and we're told that K is 5, 6, so I replaced the K with 5 over 6. We're looking to find our B prime point, where O to B is 3.05. We replace the O to B with 3.05, and we have 5 over 6 is equal to O to B prime over 3.05. I'm going to cross multiply the 3.05 times the 5 and divide by 6. That will give us 2.54167 is our O to B prime. 3.05 times 5 sixths. So times 5 divided by 6 is equal to 2.541. Take our new triangle, that's the B prime, the A prime, B prime, C prime one, and using the dilatation tool, I'm going to drag the triangle along until it gets to 2.54. So there's 2.5, very close to halfway between 2.5 and 2.6, and then hit the enter button. And that's it for level four. Have a good day.